الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد بن بعد In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, all praise be to Allah alone. May peace and blessings be sent upon the best of creation, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Proceed. It amazes me how so many people don't believe in God. It says though, even though Allah gave them eyes, ears, and minds, they're blind, deaf, and foolish. I mean, the fact that there's stuff, things that used to not be and now they are, things that had no... Things that had no choice, no essence, and came into existence. This certainly tells us that there must be a creator. After all, science tells us everything in the entire world has a cause. Nothing comes from nothing. And I don't know about you, but I believe in the laws of physics, gravity and all that stuff. But if I, and these laws were from the beginning, before any life forms. But if I accept these laws, how can I not accept the lawmaker? And even though I'm only in the fourth grade, I still know that math is very exact. What I was taught is that everything in the entire world can be exactly measured. The size of the sun, the, s the speed of the earth spinning in space, even our bodies can be measured. Everything has exact measurements according to math. Doesn't this mean there must be a designer? So, anyone who believes in scientific theories, the laws of physics, and the exactness of mash, math, should also believe that there is a God. This is as Allah says in the Quran. Inna fi khulqi samawati wal ardi wa ikhtila fi layli wa nahari la ayyatin li ulli al-bab. Indeed, in the creations of the heavens and the earth and in the alternation of night and day are signs for people of intellect. So, so many people say they're looking for the truth. I ask you, I ask, will you accept it when you find it?